This is Tracy Smith, and this is the guy that's in the seizure videos. I'm just showing you his head. Uh, for all those people out there that are saying that these are fake, and they're saying, well, it's kind of convenient that you uh, saw this guy having seizures with your camera crew. Well, I've seen this guy have four seizures. He has about three a week. This is my friend. Michelle is my friend. This is uh, husband and wife. And I'm at their house quite a bit. And as a result of me being there, I see this stuff. And it's very sad, um, but it's really happening. How many seizures a week on average are you? happening about three to four about three to four uh, a week yeah. and um, you believe that you're having these um, serious um, grand mal seizures at this rate um, because of the oil spill yeah um, why do you think it's from the oil spill because of the fumes I'm having them more often and they're harder and it just drains me even more does that make you mad when someone says that um, you're faking it yeah, that's, that drives me crazy because they're not fake. They're real. It's like sticking a your 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 hand in a light socket. That's how that's how it feels. Well, um, I just want to shut some of these people up from Enbridge um, and some of their supporters um, for the Northern Gateway Pipeline and the XL Pipeline, just to let them know that these seizures are real. Um, and uh, it's ruining your life because you have to live with this now. Um, are you mad? Tell, tell me, you know, we got a minute here. Tell me what you think about what Enbridge is doing to you. It's not fair. Uh, they had a spill. They're not taking care of the people that it has affected. They're just treating us like poor trash. And there should be, and second class, yeah. There should be regulation and stuff like that to help with with this stuff because they're just running over people. When um, they have a spill. They won't even settle with you, will they? No. And just so people know, they're trying to get these people to settle and make them sign confidentiality agreements that they can never talk about any oil spill, any Enbridge um, affiliate or Enbridge. They can't talk about any money that they may receive or their sickness um, from Enbridge. They can't talk about anything. So basically what Enbridge is doing is throwing them a couple thousand dollars and saying um, that won't even, it won't even pay for their one medical bill. I lived down the river. <laughs> I lived about 200 feet from the Kalamazoo River. Which was 13 miles away from the spill, mm -hmm. but it, the oil, I mean, they can't, they can't justify saying it was a 200 foot evacuation from where the spill was because you're talking about 40 miles at least. That, that was the mistake they made. They forgot that the oil goes down a creek into a river and then 40 miles down river. And so while they were focused on the people right in the immediate spill area, they forgot everyone that was down river. So were you evacuated when this happened, even though the oil was right next to your house? No, not right away. It took us um, about 10 days to get evacuated. Um, wait a minute, wait, wait. The, the chemicals are the worst from day one. So if you're evacuated at day 10 because they say it's too bad, then what about day one? Wow. Well, that's the problem. I mean, I have one little old lady that told me she literally lay on her couch for three weeks because she couldn't get to her door. When we were going around knocking on people's doors trying to get people evacuated, she couldn't make it from her couch to the door. It's It's time for the American people to wake up and smell the tar sand. Well, before the spill, I had, you know, not a lot of, you know, normal stuff. You know, it's just, but I had a lot of energy. I mean, I could run, 
miles and miles and miles. Now I can't even get off the couch. Because I have no energy. I feel like an 80-year-old man. Yeah. And I'm only 